Hello everybody, how are you doing? Welcome to another video. On my previous video about best hairstyles for a round face, I received a lot of comments like, hey, what about us? We have a curly hair. So I've listened to your comments and here I am making a video with love exclusive for you. So, before we jump into the hairstyles, let's first spend a second to identify our face shape. That, it will be super easy. What we need to do is go in front of the mirror and push the hair away from the face. Then, we have to focus in two points. Number one, see the length and the width of the face. Usually, when we have a round face, the size of the length and the width that is about the same size. And the second point, we have to see around the, the headline and around the jawline is quite rounded. So if you have these characteristics, then your face shape is probably round. And now let's move into the hairstyles. So the first hairstyle is a long hair, of course. Long hair always looks amazing and is for two reasons. Number one, the curly hair, when it's a little bit shorter, what you, the most common problem is, they tend to get quite big on the side. So when we have a round face and we add more volume to the side, it makes the face look even wilder. So we need to avoid that. So having a long hair, all the volume is spread more evenly through the length. So on the side, it doesn't look so big. Another reason is because the eye is dragged down to the length, so it makes the face appear a little bit longer. Here, I will say, if you have fine type of curls or normal to fine type of curls, then you could uh, have it as in one length. But if your hair is really thick, then you can add some layers into it, definitely long layers, nothing shorter than under your jawline, where it can give you a little bit more movement, a little bit more definition to the curls, and a little bit more even volume as well. The second option on the list, if you a little bit more edgy and you like short haircut, you're going to love it. And that is a short hair. Basically, really short hair to the side, with a little bit length on the top, so we can add some volume. What it does is because we don't have any volume on the side, but we add volume only on the top, it makes the face appear a little bit more longer, a little bit more oval. And that hairstyle, it works really, really good if your hair is quite tight curls or you have an afro hair. Definitely, is a great choice. And that takes us to the option number three. That is a bob. A bob which is actually just under the jawline. Anything like under the jawline is gonna be really good because what it does, it drag the eye down. The only thing with a bob is if you have very thick hair or your hair is very curly, you might not enjoy it as much because, because very quickly after you have a haircut, the volume is gonna start coming through to the side. So a bob is great if you have, I would say, wavy to curly hair. If you have quite tight curls, definitely think twice. And again, if you have a really thick hair. But what we can have, if we have a little bit more curly hair and a little bit thicker, we can have a lobe, which is a length around the, so and the collarbone, with some soft layers. That way, we can control the volume around on the sides much, much more easier. So we're not gonna get too big to the side. And also, if you have much more curls, is enough length for the curls to sit nicely. So depending of the type of curls you have and the thickness you have, you can adjust the length, which it feels good for you. And let's move now to the styling. How we can style the hair? Well, we have options as well. The first option, which 
I really really love is just let your hair be down. If your hair is down and it doesn't look frizzy and look very well styled, that can look amazing. It brings so much character. And if you don't know how to style your hair, I have a video where I explain how to style your natural curly hair. And the link is gonna appear somewhere up there. Another option for styling is a high updo. For example, you can have a high, as all we know, donut. What it does, because we bring the hair quite slick on the side and we add the volume on the top, again, it makes the face appear a little bit more long, which is a really, really good style. Or what you can do, maybe you can braid the sides and let the top a little bit more natural to get a little bit more volume. Anything really high up do is going to work perfect. While I will avoid anything with a volume down here. You don't want to bring hair sitting just behind, uh, behind your neck because what it does, again, is going to give a little bit more width to the face and it's something we definitely need to avoid. And for the end, let's see what we can do with a fringe and a parting. Well, when we have a curly hair and round face, I wouldn't recommend to have any short fringe. Definitely, it's not going to complement our face. And again, because the hair is curly, what it does normally, it gets too puffy around the face and it doesn't really look very well and very difficult to style it in every day unless you blow dry your hair. So my recommendation would be the length to be anything from under the jawline, like a long fringe down here will work perfect, but you have to make sure the fringe is gonna sit in around this length when your hair is dry and not wet, because when you dry the hair, the curly hair tends to look a little bit shorter. So, middle parting and one length, it works really, really good because the hair, it comes across the cheeks and it makes the face appear a little bit more slimmer. And side parting. Side parting again, it works perfect because, because we add a little bit more volume on the top, so we make the face appear a little bit longer. And also we create a little bit of trigonal shape there. So we make the face appear less round. And that was my top recommendation for curly hair and a round face. Let me know what you think on the comments below or if you have any questions. I will be more than happy to help you and reply on your questions. So if you like this video, thumbs up and please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you on the next video. Bye for now.